Imagine a time almost 3,000 years ago when the boot-shaped peninsula we now know as Italy was a mosaic of cultures and languages. Our journey begins with the early civilizations that called this region home. Among the first to leave a significant imprint were the Etruscans. This enigmatic people, known for their art, architecture and complex religious rituals, laid the groundwork for future civilizations. They established city-states across northern and central Italy, creating a network of commerce and culture that would endure for centuries. Meanwhile, in the south, another civilization was taking root. The ancient Greeks, drawn by Italy's fertile soil and strategic location, began to establish colonies. Cities like Naples and Syracuse sprang up, becoming centers of Hellenic culture outside Greece itself. These Greek colonies, with their philosophy, art and political ideals, profoundly influenced the nascent civilization that would eventually outshine them all. Rome. The early Romans were heavily influenced by both the Etruscans and the Greeks. From the Etruscans, they borrowed elements of religion, while the Greeks introduced them to the concept of democracy. But the Romans were not mere imitators. They absorbed, adapted, and then expanded upon the ideas and institutions they inherited. In the year 753 BC, according to legend, Rome was founded by its first king, Romulus. It grew from a small settlement to a powerful city-state, and then to a kingdom. The Roman kingdom laid the foundation for the political structure that would govern Rome for centuries to come. It established the precedent of a single supreme leader, a concept that would evolve into the imperial system of the Roman Empire. Thus the stage was set for the rise of one of the greatest empires in human history, the Roman Empire. This was a civilization that would shape the course of world history, leaving an indelible mark not only on Italy, but on the entire Western world. The dawn of civilization in Italy was just the beginning of a remarkable journey that continues to this day. Now picture an empire so vast and influential that its impact can still be felt in our modern world. This is the story of the Roman Empire, a civilization that not only dominated the Mediterranean, but also left an indelible mark on the sands of time. From its humble beginnings as a small city-state in Italy, Rome grew into a colossal empire extending from the sands of Africa to the cold frontiers of Britain. The period of its greatest expansion was under Emperor Trajan, who reigned from 98 to 117 AD. Under Trajan, the empire reached its maximum territorial extent, stretching from the Iberian Peninsula in the west to the Mesopotamian plains in the east. But the Roman Empire was not just about military conquests. It was a beacon of culture, law and governance. Its legal system, for instance, became the foundation for many modern legal codes. Concepts such as innocent until proven guilty and the right to a fair trial were born in the halls of Roman jurisprudence. The empire's architectural prowess was equally impressive. From the grandeur of the Colosseum to the ingenuity of the aqueducts, Roman architecture continues to inspire and awe. And let's not forget the Latin language, the mother tongue of Rome, which gave birth to the Romance languages and influenced the scientific, religious, and legal lexicon of the world. However, even the greatest of empires have their sunset. By the 5th century AD, the Western Roman Empire was on its knees, crippled by internal strife, economic instability, and relentless invasions by Germanic tribes. In 476 AD, the last Roman emperor, Romulus Augustulus, was overthrown, marking the end of the Western Roman Empire. As the Roman Empire fell, a new chapter in Italy's history was about to unfold. This marked the beginning of the Middle Ages, a time of feudalism and chivalry, but that's a story for another time. For now, we pause to reflect on the glory of Rome, an empire that continues to echo through the corridors of history. Transitioning from the remnants of a fallen empire, Italy entered a period of fragmentation and cultural flourishing. So, let's dive deeper into this intriguing era. Emerging from the ashes of the Roman Empire, Italy didn't unify into a single nation-state as we know it today. Instead, it splintered into a mosaic of city-states, each with its own unique character and governance. From the bustling commercial hub of Venice to the political powerhouse of Florence, these city-states were as diverse as they were dynamic. Then there was the Papal States, a region under the direct sovereign rule of the Pope. This ecclesiastical state stretched across central Italy, encompassing Rome, 
and played a pivotal role in shaping the religious and political landscape of the period. Further south, the Kingdom of Sicily arose, a melting pot of cultures, where Norman, Byzantine, Arab and Latin influences intertwined. This kingdom was a testament to the diverse cultural influences that have shaped Italy throughout its history. But it was during the Renaissance period that Italy truly shone. A cultural explosion swept across the peninsula, with an unprecedented focus on art, science and culture. This was an era when the human spirit soared and the mind expanded, an era that redefined what was possible. Florence was the cradle of the Renaissance, the city where masters like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci found their muse. It was a city that celebrated beauty, intellect and creativity, where the boundaries of art and science blurred. Venice, on the other hand, was a beacon of commerce and trade. Its strategic location made it a hub for cultural exchange, contributing to the diffusion of Renaissance ideas across Europe. The Renaissance left an indelible mark on Italy and the world, paving the way for the modern era. This was a time when Italy, fragmented yet culturally rich, laid the foundations of our contemporary world. It was a testament to the power of the human spirit, a celebration of our ability to create, to innovate and to transcend boundaries. In the 19th century, Italy, a patchwork of states, embarked on a path of unification. This wasn't a straightforward journey. Instead, it was a complex process that involved numerous players, including the charismatic Giuseppe Garibaldi and the cunning Count Camillo di Cavour. Together, these leaders navigated a turbulent political landscape, overcoming challenges and uniting the various Italian states under one banner. The fruit of their efforts was the formation of the Kingdom of Italy in 1861. This new nation was not without its struggles, but it was a significant step towards the Italy we know today. However, the country's journey was far from over. In the 20th century, Italy found itself embroiled in the two world wars. Italy's role in these global conflicts was substantial and the impact was profound, shaping the nation's destiny in ways that are still evident today. Following the Second World War, Italy underwent a period of dramatic change. The monarchy was abolished in a landmark referendum and the Italian Republic was born. It was a fresh start, a chance for Italy to redefine itself in the wake of war. The post-war period was also a time of significant economic development. Italy transformed from a largely agrarian society to an industrial powerhouse, a phenomenon commonly referred to as the Italian economic miracle. This period saw the rise of global Italian brands in fashion, automobiles and more, placing Italy firmly on the world stage. Today, Italy stands as a testament to its rich and diverse history, a vibrant blend of past and present. It's a nation that has weathered the storms of change and emerged with a unique identity forged by centuries of triumphs and trials. From its inception as a patchwork of states to the thriving republic we see today, Italy's journey is a compelling chapter in the story of our world. As we journey through the annals of Italian history, we encounter a narrative of resilience and innovation. We've traversed the path from the dawn of civilization in Italy, where ancient tribes laid the groundwork, through the grandeur of the Roman Empire and its indelible mark on the world. We've seen the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, periods of profound cultural and scientific revolution that forever changed the course of human history. We then sailed through the tumultuous yet transformative period of unification, leading us to the Italy of the present day. Italy's history is more than just a series of events. It's an intricate tapestry woven with threads of triumph and adversity. Each era, each epoch, has left its mark, contributing to the rich tableau that is Italy today. The ancient civilizations, with their ingenuity and tenacity, laid the foundation for what was to come. They gave us the first glimpse of the resilience that would become a defining characteristic of Italy. Then came the Roman Empire, a beacon of power and progress. Its laws, its architecture, its language, have echoed through the ages, influencing societies far beyond its borders. The Middle Ages and the Renaissance saw Italy at the heart of a cultural and scientific revolution. The world was introduced to the genius of artists like Michelangelo and da Vinci, and the daring theories of scientists like Galileo. These luminaries pushed the boundaries of understanding, their legacies still inspiring us today. And let's not forget the unification, a period of upheaval that ultimately birthed a nation. 
It was a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Italian people, their desire for unity and self-determination. Italy's contributions to global culture, science and politics are immeasurable. Its history is a testament to the enduring spirit of its people, their resilience in the face of adversity and their unyielding pursuit of progress. Italy's history is a rich tapestry of triumphs and trials, a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. As we look to the future, the legacy of its past continues to shape its present.